So good afternoon guys. I'm Raphael, you already know. So our group is made of Eric and Wendy. Ooh. And we are gonna talk about technology brand based brand. First of all, Kyoda Tena Koto. We're gonna talk about Noilimi. Noilimi is a Kiwi brand, and I will explain a little bit of this brand. So what I, I'm gonna talk to you guys today is an executive summary about Noilimi a quick introduction about the business and forms of electronic aspects of marketing used in brand management. All right, so in executive summary, we are gonna cover the power of the technology to promote a brand because we know that in the past, we used different ways to promote a brand. Like uh, companies used to use like ads on TV uh, or giving flyers, but the things has changed over the years and today we have technology we have a lot of resources available to use to promote a brand so on this project we are going to see what resources we can use to promote a brand to increase sales to make business to make money and what tools we can use to promote brand because like uh there are resources that can be you that are more applicable for a specific kind of brand or a specific kind of product or service and we're going to show you which ones should be better to be used at no Me. and also the impact of social medias because the social medias are a strong resource that we have nowadays like we have youtube which is a platform that you can upload videos and you can promote your brand not only promote your brand but you can also ex uh, expose people's opinion um, feedbacks, everything that you want to show to everybody. We have Twitter. Twitter is a social network that you can describe in a few, uh, in a few group of words what you are thinking about and also not only what you are thinking about, but, uh, but also you can follow what is the company's positioning. Uh, we have Instagram, which is a social network that we use to share photos and nowadays videos as well. So you can promote your brand using Instagram as well and Facebook, which is the most used, uh, used social network nowadays that we can do a couple of, of things using Facebook, like sharing photos, sharing videos, sharing thoughts, uh, following people, and etc. So all those resources, all those things will be shown here, but in a context of Noel Limi. Noel Limi, as I said, is a Kiwi brand, so, and in the market, we have two main competitors. So we have Pivitech and JB Hi-Fi. The first Noel Limi was opened in 1973 in Christchurch here. So after that, uh, after the success of the business, uh, the company has spread the stores around the North and South Island. And today, we have 76 stores around the country. Phys I, uh, when I say 76 stores, I, I mean physical stores because uh, Noel Limi is also online. Uh, is also online 24 for seven and can be accessible for anywhere for, from, for anyone. Uh, what else? And I need to tell you guys what we offer at Noel Limi. We have two main groups. We have products and service. Under the products, we have computers, TV, camera, printers, a lot of devices, cell phones. And on the services side, the company offers like um, e-waste e e recycling, which is to recycle the waste that we generate buying those products. Uh, we have support. We have uh, gift cards that you can buy online. We have uh, consultant support as well. We have a lot of digital supports. And after the success in 2012, the no uh, Noel Limi was bought by the Warehouse Group. And the Warehouse Group today has those six stores here. So the Warehouse, which is uh, one of the biggest stores here in New Zealand, the Warehouse Stationery that, that sells stationary products, Torpedo 7, which sells bikes and some sport products. Noel Limi, so Noel Limi covers all the technology and electronics. 
oneday.co.nz is a website that gives uh, offers to everybody in New Zealand. And the market is a kind of social network that also sells products. So all those companies here belong to the warehouse group and the warehouse group drives no Lean. Since 2012. All right, so what's the purpose of no Lean? As Noel Limi was bought by the warehouse group, the company today follows the same purpose of the warehouse group, which is helping Kiwis live better every day. And how the company support that, that purpose? Based on three main values, which are Fakarohia te akayotu, which is think customer. On this case, uh, the company put the customers in the the customer in the top of the thinking. So the customer mo almost always had the reason. So think customer means customer first. Think like a customer. The second value is mahi i inga mahi pai, which means do good. So on everything that we do, when I say we, I say noelini, on everything we do, we do our best. We do our good because we are part of a group and when you do something good for someone, you are helping a group. And the third value is papa, which means only. So we do, we are here, we talk the language of customers, we do the things happen. So those are the values supported by Noel Lini. Okay, after that, let's focus in the, in the subject. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the forms of electronic aspects of marketing using brand management. So. Regarding this talk, we have to talk about the internet components. The first one, the first of one, is infrastructure. So, uh, the internet only happens nowadays because we have an infrastructure behind it. We have servers, we have cables, we need power to connect our computers, to supply the necessary energy to our computers, for our machines. So. Regarding the infrastructure of Noelin of internet, Noelin has also an infrastructure behind. So they have servers, uh, they have computers, good computers that are able to support all the information that is um, get from the customers, good computers that are used to process the requests, the, uh, the purchases, uh, and they have a, a kind of strong uh, internet network in order to make all the stores talk together to connect all the stores. The sec second point is exchange. The internet only happens because we have protocols behind. So when I, I'm talking about exchange, I'm talking about the kind of language that I have my computer here, I'm connected here in New Zealand, um, in the South Island. And if I want to access, access a Noelin store in Auckland, for example, the information will go out from my computer, will pass by a protocol, it will be processed, processed, and will be delivered to the place that I'm trying to access. So, Noel Lim has also some protocols to, 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 to communicate with the other stores and with the customers. Interaction. Everything just happened due to, to, to interaction. So, uh, there is no reason to just like, uh, if you go to a computer and you access the internet, so if nothing happens back to you, so why are you seated in front of a computer, you know? Like, we need interaction, so we need to send information and we need to receive information. So in the internet, in the internet component, interaction is also used in no limit. So as, as an example of this, when you are requesting a product, the company is receiving a request and they will send the, the, uh, the product for you. So. You, and if you have any, if you need any support during this interaction, during this transition, they will support you. So it will have, it will have an interaction too. And the fourth is the environment. So regarding all those uh, components here, we build an environment, so a virtual environment. So the things happen in a kind of parallel world and they come through. E-branding benefits. So, regarding the benefits that we can use, uh, that we can have on e-branding are, first, cost reduction. 
Once you are uh, you are conducting our online business, you can save some money. Like you don't, for example, if you have a virtual store, you can redu reduce costs with keeping a physical store open. So you don't need too much papers to deal with the transactions. So you can do all the things online. So you can save a lot of money keeping a business online. The second benefit benefit of the brand is effective and efficiency so you can give a quick response to your customers and you can become more efficient i mean like you can improve some uh some routines of your daily business and you can get some advantage like making provide some something good for your customer or making something quick the other benefit is wider access to customers so in the internet, there is no physical barriers. So, as I said before, I'm here, I can access a store anywhere. So, um, Noel Lima can, can be ac accessed for anyone around the world. So, you can attract a, attract a lot of customers. Another benefit is promotional value. So, as I told before, Noel Lima has some values and one of the values is related to do good. So thinking about the environment, the company has a program of e-waste. So if you have like old computers, old monitors, old keyboards, old printers, old, sorry, not old, old, old cameras, you can send it back to the company and they will discard this properly. So it's a kind to uh, environmental thinking that the company has. And also another, um, Thing, another ecological thinking of the company is the fact that the company is replacing all the lights inside the stores by LED lights. So, again, the promotional value. So, the company can promote those values in order to benefit itself, in order to benefit, benefit the brand to get some brand equity. That is another benefit of the brand. And the next one. competitive pressure so we are in a we are in a competition so we have others stores that are also trying to get more customers so you can make uh, something different in the internet so you can use different strategies to promote your brand and to come to get those customers so a benefit of using a brand is this to win this competition you have resources to win. you just need to know how to use it and how to be efficient on that And the last one, corporate image. So uh, you can promote your brand using the internet resources. You can promote your brand uh, in, that, in a virtual environment. Just a curious fact, as we can see here, the Noyolin logo is made of letter N and letter L inside a circle. And that circles remind us the R uh, at symbol. So, the, corp, uh, the corporate image here is completely aligned with the purpose of the business. So the business sells technological products and electronics. So, and when you think about the edge symbol, what comes to my mind at least is um, internet connection, um, technology, things like that. So the corporate image here um, can be promoted very well because is aligned with the purpose of the business and also can spread the brand around the country. Okay, what are the impacts of e-marketing? What impacts of e-marketing issues to know a leaning image? First, audience control. When you are dealing with uh, online business, it's really hard, it's really hard to control your audience because like I, let's suppose, let's imagine that I'm a Noel Lini marketer and I want to promote um, uh, a special deal. I spread a lot of emails about this, those deals, but who can assure that the person who is receiving that email is the person that I was looking for, the person that I was focused. Like, sometimes people uh, put wrong emails when they are registering their, their store. Sometimes, like, um, let's imagine that I'm 
uh, sending an offer about male products and a woman is seeing that. So it's really hard to target the, audi the audience. It's really hard to assure that you targeted the right person, the right audience. That is one impact of MRV. Another point is information pro proliferation. Uh, in the internet, the information goes quickly. So, and you have to be really careful with that because sometimes if you are providing a wrong information, uh, you will not, you won't have time to fix it because everybody can spread it and it will be really, really hard to control or to fix. Another, share of voice. People are being listened in the internet. So everybody's expressing their opinion. So uh, we have to be really careful about that because if we start getting a lot of complaints from our business, uh, people will start to be aware of it and they will start going to different places to, to shop instead of going to non women. So the share of voice has an important impact of e market of e marketing next internet time you have to be prompt i mean as i said before if you are receiving a lot of complaints about the brand we need to be fast we need to know what is happening we need to provide the right answer to that complaint in order to avoid uh increasing of complaints so <coughs> internet time means to be precise with the right information the right time to avoid future issues Last, beta factor. Beta factor is related to when you, are, when you want to release something new, you release a kind of prototype version and then peep just for a, a small audience and then you will see what are the performance of this, uh, for example, website or this app. And then you will see what is going well and what is going wrong and you fix what's ne what is necessary to fix and then you finally release the, uh, the final version, which will be the beta factor. And then I go to this is it. Yay! Very good, Rafael. Okay, well done, well done. Okay, mm, very good presentation. A lot of details. Okay, yeah. The only thing here is, is like because on the slides, you only list out the title, mm -hmm. isn't it? It will be better if you can just summarize maybe one or two, you know, those bullet points for each point. So it will be easy for the audience to follow up. Okay, yeah, the rest will be good. Okay, okay. okay. thank you.